Hello, Sagittarius darlings. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com. For any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirits, you are welcome into this reading. Okay, we must sage for the Sagittarian gods, honey. So, for the um, week from the 8th through the 16th. Let's find out what's going on between your uh, money situation first, and then we'll get some romance and your partnerships going, okay? So, off top, let's see what's going on. All right. Here we go, Sagittarius. First card off top is spread your wings. So you could be needing to break free from someone or take a path that's going to make you expand and spread your wings is what I'm seeing here. Uh, it could be just some expansion within your overall vibe. Okay. It could be because you're getting ready to take a lead or you could be the one who's needing some leadership or you're taking on some sort of leadership here. Okay. With spreading your wings and taking this lead, Sagittarius. Definitely could be needing to just, you know, go with the flow and go along with the ride, all right? So, I feel for some of you guys, um, in your money affairs, there could be something that you're resting from or you're letting go of, so definitely taking a break here. Uh, it could be for some of you guys, you're, you know, thinking about security and balance with what it is you're going to take the lead in, okay? Okay. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups in reverse, also the Hierophant. So, could be, you know, your traditions, your background, your cultural beliefs, okay? You could be, you know, using your spiritual gifts as well with the Hierophant um, to accumulate money or just or in your overall environment. It feels like, uh, you know, you're kind of at a crossroads between what it is you're going to bring in spiritually wise, or it could be... Um, you know, what you are holding back from. Okay, so with that being said, two of swords, nine of wands, so yeah, definitely somebody who's guarded or defensive. Um, it could be that you're learning something spiritually, okay, learning to go with the flow, to take things lightly. Could have been a lot of struggles or mind games or just people overall that were bringing challenges into you. Um, but I feel like with the five of wands coming in, there's definitely some sort of competition here or there could be some, just some struggles. It could be because someone is, you know, it could be due to someone who's a childhood friend or it could also be somebody who's, you know, just keeping themselves up at nighttime where they feel like there's a lot of things they have to think about. Money could be moving very slow with the Knight of Pentacles energy here. Okay, this could be in an uh, office setting or environment, but things could be moving very slow. But it's also coming in pretty loyal with that Pentacle energy right in his hand. So you could be having the money come into your hand, baby. Uh, which is definitely saying to spread your wings and that's what's going to help you lead into a better flow, okay? Um, I do see there could be somebody who's wanting to um, like multitask. Okay, it could be some connections or some communication that's kind of, um, you know, got it's got a, um, a, some static to it or, you know, it might be some issues. But I feel like you're getting ready to manifest here, okay? Or you could be manifesting a new situation, but with the five of swords coming in, be aware of all of those people and those energies that you're having to compete with, or there could be some struggles, you know, that you're in competition with, uh, but you're definitely getting ready to manifest here with this magician energy. Okay. Also Ace of Swords. So to me, this is definitely some sort of communication or a connection through communication. 
uh, whether it be in your money or your finances, but there's going to be a lot of flow of power, putting things into use, manifesting. Okay. The magician manifests, uh, and utilizes everything that's out on the table. <coughs> so with that being said, you're getting ready to come into your power. It could be through communications. It could be how you're speaking to people. Um, but I feel with magician energy, it's going to be a lot of communication coming in. Um, but with communication, you're manifesting. You're taking the lead. You're bringing in new possibilities. You could be needing to reach out. Okay. But I'm seeing um, for a lot of you guys, you could be having to master. You could be having to cage your heart. Uh, but you're also mastering this subject. OK, so whatever this is, whether it be, you know, work environments, if you work from home, whatever the case may be, um, there's definitely some decisions to be made here. Yeah, daydreams and decisions. So it's definitely someone who needs some tranquil energy to come through, but you're having to make a decision while you're resting, because that's probably what that four of swords is all about. Could be taking a break from, uh, you know, resting, healing in your job, things of that nature. Somebody is definitely getting themselves together here. So let's see um, what's going on in your romance department, darlings. Here we go. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Sagittarius. Okay, two more. Unrequited love. Okay, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, Sagittarius, somebody is kind of falling out of love or someone is losing the attraction, okay, towards this person. Um, you know, it might not be, you might not be fulfilled, okay? Some of you all could be having a new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going down, baby. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner. All right, chariot energy here, Empress. So for some of you all with this healing family issues, you could be feeling like there's some sort of victimized situation or somebody could be, uh, you know, feeling like they're a victim towards, uh, you know, an argument or something that you could have had with your parents your children, whatever the case may be, uh, there's definitely someone who feels closed off here. Um, I'm also seeing for some of you guys, it could have been a third party situation, but you're getting ready to shoot, um, you know, shoot the shit and figure out what it is you're going to be and where you're going to go. Okay. could be with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Someone kind of feels stuck. All right. But they're needing to heal their own family issues. It's kind of what I'm picking up too, but I'm seeing um, there could be some sort of news or some energy that they might receive or that you might receive. You have the temperance energy uh, here. Okay, so someone is definitely needing to mix and master their emotions. Okay, also seeing with the um, unrequited love, there could be some forward movement that's happening. Um, it could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also, um, yeah, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, but someone wants to come out of the cold. There could be some sort of tie or bond here with the devil energy. Okay. I'm seeing um, there's definitely the storyline of somebody who's guarding their money or there could be somebody who's guarding some things. Uh, like they had to hide something from someone. Yeah, it could have been somebody who's immature. Okay. I do see that Sagittarius, somebody could have had to hide some things or they were having to watch this person. Um, not in the sense of, uh, if, not, if I get the Page of Swords, then hell yeah, okay? But with the Page of Cups, I'm seeing that there is somebody who wants to bring in a message. They want some forward movement. Could be a Cancer and you're dealing with Sagittarius. You guys have been mixing and mingling in each other's reads for, for a while, all right? Could be in their sun, moon, or rising. But the unrequited love is someone who's very immature, okay, it might not be ready for a relationship. But this new love that's coming in could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Page of Pentacles, okay. Also with the sun energy, um, 
someone wants some clarity. It could be a child involved or a few children that's involved in this new love. Um, I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups, there could be somebody who wants to come in and bring you some sort of love offer, but they're kind of immature in their ways and in their emotions, so be aware of that, okay? Um, now, I do feel like in, with your partner, you know, they feel like you need to communicate to them, you know, this strong energy, this strong bond, strength energy. You could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? Another uh, fire sign. Also, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Uh, but I feel they view you as somebody who could be like getting bored with the situation and you need to communicate that to them so they can figure out where they want to go, honey. Because somebody looks like they're wanting to travel out, okay? It's how they're viewing you. Also, somebody um, that's juggling multiple things here, you know, could be trying to stand on two different feet. So, let's see what to expect, Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords as well. So I knew that that was going to come out eventually. Um, but I feel that there's definitely this situation of somebody who is um, getting ready to spy on you or they could have been spying on you. You could be spying on them, whether it be tarot, whether it be in their emotions, whatever the case may be, they're spying on you due to a family circumstance, due to somebody within a home situation, or there could be just some instability that's coming in, or this person brings, they want stability, but they're not able to bring it in, okay? It definitely could be utilizing sex in a way of, you know, uh, trying a different way. <laughs> trying, they're trying to use that as a way to, you know, get through, okay? You got the Ace of Wands, and also with the Six of Pentacles, could be somebody who's trying to offer or give, okay? It's that new passionate energy, with this Ace of Wands, a new spark, a new beginning, possibly. Knight of Wands as well. I feel like there could be a lot of jealousy surrounded by you guys, but um, there's definitely a lot of people who are making actions towards you. It definitely could be somebody who's celebrated, well celebrated here. Also somebody who's wanting that recognition. Um, but I'm seeing possible outcomes. A lot of you guys want to close yourself off. But it's saying to listen um, to your heart, listen to your mind, uh, watch the things around you, okay? You might be feeling, some of you all could be feeling alone, all right? You could be feeling like somebody's just hanging around for a purpose or hanging around just to just, you know, not get shit done. But with this hermit energy, hang hey, man, I feel like somebody's not getting things done. They're kind of shut down. But also it's saying in your independence is to listen to the situation, listen to what's happening, okay? Because uh, there definitely could be some sort of ending here, but I feel um, there's going to be a new beginning. You have um, you have the Ten of Swords, also the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So with this ending could be a new beginning. Somebody could be having back problems or, you know, struggling with getting up off of their back, all right? But Sagittarius is looking very well. I feel um, you're going to be opening up very soon. And it's looking very promising for you guys as far as in a relationship. Now, if you have ended some things here, this person seems like um, they're going to be trying to work hard towards a loving situation or bringing in happiness. Okay, rainbows and gumdrops and shit. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, hit that description box. Down below, baby, check out my website, theworldsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings. Peace, baby.